Alright, okay, so here we are again to speak about things that are important to the world, obviously. Today we're speaking about, why we're talking about what it. kind of things we personally like to read and well, what our reading preferences are well, whatever the and movie. how we read it. Whatever the movie. Movie. We have to hurry up before the Papa John's gets here. Yeah, also a pizza may arrive, so if it cuts and starts again, I swear to God, if it arrives, we'll grow. I'll get the pizza because I don't really speak I will get it much. started so Day you guys have an idea tip. of what we're speaking about here. Okay? We're talking about books and that. Because you read so much. I do, actually. I read almost right. as much as okay. that. Okay, so... For example, I like to read books, comics, and newspapers, but Lovely there's certain books. kinds of books I like to read. I cannot stand sh- like crime and thriller books. I think them They're really far. boring and just not fun to read. And I just love, I like fantasy and sci-fi settings like that. Mm-hmm. Okay? And then it's the same with like, comics. I'm not really the same. I'm actually quite open when it comes to comics. I'll read most things. Most. And newspapers, I just won't read tabloids. And I read everything in, like, print form, apart from until, like, lately when I got given a uh, Kindle because, like, my book collection was just getting out of control for how little space I have upstairs. And then I wanted to start collecting comics, which I can't do with the amount of space I have. So I started putting everything on the Kindle, and it just seems like that's the way everything's going anyway. But, like, for example, my favourite things my favorite things I've ever read are the Song of Ice and Fire series. Like, I think the Game of Thrones books are probably like the best books I've ever read. And then, I don't know, what's the best comic I've read? Probably just the, the DMZ one. one. Eh? Journalist one? Yeah, DMZ. Sauce. Or then, I do read the manga as well, but I read that all online. Yeah. And then it'd be manga. like, Naruto. Naruto. What kind of books do you read, Greg? Almost the same as Andrew. I read books, I read comics. I sometimes read papers. Uh, and I feel like I, I have to read papers yeah. though, because it's like my future job. Yeah. <laughs> I, <laughs> I read, just read the ones that are at my work on the table. I, I read, read magazines. Um, this is quite. This might seem a bit like a, like being a bit of a knob and stuff, but I read the Economist sometimes. I will see in W. Smith and I'll buy it. The Economist. Yeah, it's I don't like, even know what. It's they... a well-renowned world. That's uh, you know. Yeah, yeah no, it's, it's very yeah. well. It's basically if you see that in the round the world, it's something you know it's positively associated with Britain for once. So it's it lets you basically know about the stuff that you wouldn't find out otherwise. You know, like it's a civil war in Uganda, maybe I don't know. But in the book it tells you. <coughs> uh, but much like I read books, much like the same as uh, I read uh, the Song of Fire. Guys. Bless you. That was a call. I used ca- to, ca- if I, if ca- I sneezed, you'd have known about it. Sounded like a sneeze. My sneezes are scary loud. Yeah, actually, sorry. Do I interrupt you? Yeah. I used to read a lot, a lot of comics as well, but I kind of fell out of them. I actually, my first comics, probably not like proper, like, <laughs> what you expected. But my first comics were Sonic comics. Sonic. The, comics. the ones that started me off on comics were Rupert the Bear. I had all the annuals. <laughs> Oh yeah, I used to, I used to get awesome. Beano annual every year. Same, my dad yeah. would buy that. I, have like Actually, I kind of wish I still did. I have like three massive binder things full of like Beano's in my attic. I wish I still got the Beano books every year for Christmas. I think on my mom. No, the Beano's like pretty. It's pretty shit now. You can't tell. I've, I've read like you. Beano's yeah. in the library at school, and they're pretty tired now. Like the guys that we used to like aren't in it. The Beano and the Dandy are the same thing now. So like Desperate Dan and Banana Man's in the Beano now. Oh, I didn't like the Dandy, so that's why. No, yeah. well the, da- the old Dandy like had to shock because like everyone read the Beano instead mm-hmm. but like the Beano has like I don't know that's the weird. only thing they, they took out Little Plum because it was racist apparently what was Little Plum it was a little Native American guy that always said oh, instead yeah. of saying like ah spanner he'd be like um spanner and apparently that was racist <laughs> well it is kind of it's not really though it's not that racist. is the single thing Dundee have to be proud of well Little Plum Nope, the Beano. The Beano is a Scottish comic. Well done. Round of applause know. for Dundee for achieving something. I, I choose not to take part. I think that's really. the first time ever, anyone's I lived, ever I lived in for Perth. Dundee. Ever. Well, I lived in Perth. I have the right to mock Dundee. because I have the right so to mock close. Dundee also, because Aberdeen and Dundee just... Anyone anywhere in the world has, has the right to mock Dundee. Dundee. If you're from a shanty town in Africa, you have the right to... You can be like, ha ha, Dundee. <laughs> <laughs> That you may not racist. get it. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty racist. What kind of... Uh... You're talking about prejudice, you know? <laughs> anyway, so uh, Greg was saying... Oh, no, it's just... As Greg was saying... Well, yeah, basically that's it. Pretty much the same as Andrew. What kind of book series do you read, Ross? Because you... I remember you haven't quite... 
Jeez. I have like a fuck ton of books. Yeah. Um, you read like Ross like Stephen King. Yeah, but like oh, the the mess. No, I've not read that. You know Stephen like I think Stephen King just writes books about things he sees now. <laughs> you know like they had that sketch of Family Guy, it's like a killer lamp! You're not even trying anymore, are you? <laughs> Do you remember that pic I got when we were like the rape scene in the Stephen King book? Yeah, that Ross, was the funniest Ross thing. read me a rape scene from a Stephen King book and it was actually like the worst thing. Ever. It was strange. Oh, no, it, was just, it was just afterwards I was like, Stephen King. Rape, don't write rape. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, it was it was really bad. But um I read I don't really read like a specific kind of thing. My books are a little bit just kind of weird. Me and Ross both love Max yeah. Brooks' work. Oh yeah, the zombie stuff. Yeah, I like the, that. I've got quite a few zombie books. I like. I used to read when I was younger. I read a lot of the Darren Shan books. Like, oh yeah. Because because well, I say a lot. Like I had the entire vampire and the whole demon series. Like the demon thing. Like I piled them all up in my room. And it was it was getting taller than me, <laughs> and it was it was a lot of them. But so I've got like. And they're not really hotter, but I guess they kind of have to be said because they talk about that kind of stuff. Uh, when you were talking about crime thriller being boring, though, I totally agree. Like, a lot of crime thriller, like, bores the shit out of me. But I, I think two of my favourite books, maybe three of my favourite books, are crime thrillers. But, like, they're not, like, the really boring ones. Like, my granddad leads loads of crime thrillers. Yeah, my mum reads ones like, like John Grisham and stuff. Yeah, yeah. But my gran- I think my grand reads Man. loads of those. But, like... The three that I really like, they were called Unwanted, Fear Fat, no, Fear Fat, it's not Fear Factor. It's a TV the show. Fear Index, yeah, that was a Fear Index, uh-huh. Unwanted, and Slights, and they were all kind of like that, because like, Unwanted was like one of these Swedish things about some kind of serial killer that was like, uh, he was, I think he was killing babies and like carving Unwanted into their head and like leaving them in hospitals. It's pretty dark for us. I read weird things. Um, Your favourite book's I Am Legend, isn't it? No, that's, that's a book I like. That's not my favourite, though. But, and, and then the other one was a book before it was. Oh, the Fear Index was maybe something you'd like. I don't know. It was about basically this guy wrote an algorithm to like fuck the stock markets, but then like it was a self learning algorithm. So, like, it's. I don't know. There was a terrorist attack that no one caught, like, picked up except for this algorithm. So a plane blew up or something, and then like. Everyone started thinking it was this guy, and this guy like started getting like death threats and shit. Mm. And then like his own program started trying to kill him or something. Oh, okay. And then Slights okay. was this one about a girl whose dad was a cop that died, and then she became like a f- complete fuck not. Like her name's Stevie, which I thought was funny. Like I know girls are called Stevie, but Stevie's just such a funny name. And she becomes she kind of becomes like a serial killer. Like she commits she like puts herself to the brink of death a couple of times like ODing and stuff and every time she almost dies she kind of goes to this weird room and all the people she's ever slighted which I found out is just a weird word for being a dick to I think mm-hmm. and her life were always there and they like their eyes were all black and they smelled like shit in mothballs and they'd be like mm, they'd scratch her skin and it was really weird and I had this massive conspiracy and all this weird shit and I, it's very confusing but I know I've read it like three times because mm. I can't a really bad focus, so I can't do anything like more than once. So reading a book three times for me is it puts it up there. <laughs> but, what about you, Neil? Well, I I feel bad saying it that I don't read that much. You do. I, you, do you don't. You do read a lot. You just don't read books. Well, I I'd, I'd like to read more books. It just it takes me a long time to get into a book. Like I, like it takes me like a, I, when I get into a book, I will just like continuously read it. But it takes me like a hundred pages to get into that. And those first the hundred pages, it's just like, like I'd read two pages and then I'd just be like. Uh, I can't really be bothered. I feel bad saying it, but it's that's just the way things are going now. Like, yeah. the fewer and fewer people are reading, and it's kind of. I don't know. So I think that's start. It's this. It's got really bad with our generation, and it's like barely any people well are reading. But I think that's what the Kindle's there to try and. It's trying to bring it back. Is that is one good thing about the Kindle is like. You can read your book anywhere. Mm-hmm. Like, I know it doesn't sound hard, like it's like, oh, you can take a book anywhere anyway, though. But it's like, see, if you're sitting on a bus and you've got a book, I'm more worried about it on a bus because I'm like, oh, I don't want anything to happen to it or to get bent out of shape. Kindle's yeah. just a screen. Yeah. You've got on front of you and you just sit and read your book on it. But, like, I just remember, like, being a kid and going to the library and, you know, like, taking out books and stuff. Oh, I used to win challenges for going to the library and, like, reading more than six books over the summer. But I think that's going to, that eventually just got out. I was in the chess club too, man. 
was well cool. <laughs> but I think that will eventually just die out, yeah. Because the library Kindles are just and like like yeah, and well. just like, like reading things on di- digitally is just going to well take li- over. libraries won't no they die won't out, die out like, people become taking a- books from libraries I think will yeah, so they'll be kept a- as like an archive yeah but people I don't like taking from libraries because I'm like a weirdo and I like having my own collection that's what I'm saying I do so. on I really like having a book having yeah. like but. I don't, I you, don't, you don't bend the spine of my book though, every library you book, you die. should have a manual how to rebuild civilization just in case something goes wrong so it's like this is how we where do we read. go yeah. to the library <laughs> I, I, read, I read a lot of mangas like I like I went through a big phase of buying mangas all the time like the actual hard copies and it just it was such an, so expe- it's such an expensive it's like pastime it's like, like, that, it's like, like I have over 200 manga books and I, I have to stop and I just read it online now my problem it's is so space. expensive yeah, yeah I, I, you I, I actually don't realise how much space yeah. books take up Mm-hmm. Mine are all just kind of shoved up at the top of my cupboard now because there's no space on my new shelf in units. But yeah, it just it got too much. I still need to finish like as I said the thing about the collection. Like I started buying the Higurashi books and I got like so far in it and then I couldn't afford it anymore and now like it's killing me because like there's like the first half of the books are like black and then the second half of the white band and there's only two of the white band books and I still need the rest and it like kills me every time I look at them all on my shelf well, I'm it, like cause it takes, should be complete because it takes so long for mangas to get published and come out in oh, English yeah, yeah I like I don't know I like when I stopped collecting I, Naruto I stopped collecting at like 50 something just early in the 50s and they're only just into 60 so you could you're easily you're not that far behind Oh, well, why not? Yeah, I looked at it like when Tiger was going to be like fully translated. And it was like middle of 2015 when all the uh, books are actually going to be like done, I think, in yeah. English. And like that came out. That's, that's, a that's years the thing. Ago. That is a, a pro for the whole digital age, though. Because literally a day after it comes out in Japan, it's we translators have translated it in English and it's up on Manga Jump, Reader. Jumping on that, it's something similar. Not to the same degree as like Manga Reader gets this from Manga Panda. It's like. Uh, comes out on there first and then Mangarita just takes their scans and puts it on their one yeah sorry no you know the whole thing about just giving props to it's the like <laughs> would you shut the fuck up seriously <laughs> no you know the whole thing about the witcher is that it's like it's a polish polish like series it was yeah. originally in poland mm-hmm. but it's been translated to a bunch of other languages like french german but it's mostly slowly gone out for europe but like the being Bible. yeah the only the english language it's only gone up to two of the books and there's like another six to go so what actually has happened is that fans, you know, in Poland have translated, they, they translated, they translated them online, so you can actually read all of them online. But I haven't done that because I just don't think it'll be true. No, it won't be. I, will, I can't wait because it's be taken prop- like four be, years. The ones that'll come out in English will be proper, like properly translated, and make sure that all the kind of stuff. I, my like thing is though, like, the, another cool thing about digital reading when it comes to books is. I've bought a book on my Kindle now, and if I went and bought all the books I have, you know, like print wise on my mm-hmm. Kindle, it comes up with suggestions of books. And Similar that you sometimes when you read a book, about. you're like, oh, I really fancy reading something like that. <coughs> That's hard to find. And it, it really is hard to go out and be like, oh, right. So you go to the fan, like, I like fancy books. So I've read Game of Thrones, I'm like, right, what do I want to read now? And I go into Waterstones and I stand similar. I stand there at the fantasy section and I'm like, right, I want something. And you read all like the blurbs and you're like, you they all that. present themselves in the exact same way. Mm-hmm. Every book's blurb could be the same book, basically. Yeah. It's like, there's a disaster and then a hero shows up. What will happen? Okay, yeah, like like to find out. Yeah. Like, Whereas on the Kindle, it takes. I, I'm not sure how it works, but it's like, right, so you like this guy's writing style. It'll be one And you like this kind read. of storyline and stuff like that, and it's like, well, why don't you try reading this? It'll be like how Amazon works, like other people who view this have also viewed But it is how Amazon works, because yeah. the Kindle is yeah. Amazon. So it's like Remember, that. it's their baby. Yeah. Like, baby. The baby. It's like, uh, I like, almost like, always been like reading, like, finished with the Westeros books, I went into Waterstones and I was looking through the fantasy books, as you said. One thing that caught my attention is like, and like you know, George recommended this particular series. Yeah. So I thought, well, you know, George, you know, he does, he knows his stuff. He knows his fantasy. Like, so it, it helps to have a recommendation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I think all of us, if we like, really recommended a book, this we would read it. I mean, I've you know, I've taken recommendations from my cousins. I would. I recommend Game of Thrones to literally everybody I speak to about books. Yeah. I think if you, 
want a book that if you worry because you take a while to get into books Game of Thrones kind of hooks you in straight away I really liked the it's way that he wrote in that like his description of things oh and he's stuff. just like, he's amazing really that is like one of his high points about writing is he just makes the world so vivid mm-hmm. like it actually just not even hard to, to imagine, to like, imagine if you're how some, it is like, see if you're like a Fraser or something and you have no imagination yeah, at like, all it's like, not even hard. Then, he basically like, draws a bloody picture of the person yeah. using his words and you're just like ah really? so that's what he looks like I did have like an image of like Ned and his children but when the TV series came along I'm so, it's just Sean Bean is what I think of Ned that's the thing well, yeah. Yeah. You won't be able that's to not a bad thing because I feel like the way he describes Ned yeah. is Sean Bean <laughs> like it looks like I think him the, in my the head. casting was pretty good for it because I remember when I read the first book, there was only a couple of characters that looked like really different to the way I'd imagined. Mm-hmm. It, I think. Well, not even. Well, I can't even think of anybody. His, wife, his Ned's wife. I didn't imagine her looking so old. I think. Oh, yeah, I think no. I might have just misread how old she was or something. Because I imagined her like looking well, like this younger. Five children. <laughs> I always find it weird because like, I've watched the TV show like you, you imagine those characters when you think like you, you say the name and you think of the characters but then like when I go on the wikis to like have a look at them and like read up on the characters and stuff and it has the character like character arts that other people have done yeah. and it just it always looks really weird it's like that's not what they look like oh, yeah, but, but then it's that's their I watched the first two the episodes people. before I read the books and then no, I read the characters, the before. I the characters I hadn't picked up on yet, I yeah. then imaged myself, and then when they appeared, when yeah, I like, started watching the show, I was like, like, no, I was like, oh, that actually works. And like, that is kind of just how I've seen it. Yeah. Like, Danny is actually the only one who looks different to me. Yeah, the you only see, when they say silver that... hair, I honestly image Genuinely it as like grey hair. Yeah. Not like white, like, but I now image her when I read the books with white hair. Just because I think it makes her look better. Mm. Not, because, not because I'm like, oh. Eh? She's not that is also a thing. They have to change things like that. Yeah, yeah, like that. Still that. Like, still really fly you can't have a 14 year old girl basically getting almost raped by her brother. But then yeah. then, 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 then she kind of raped. Well, no. She raids Khal Drogo like a stallion or something. <laughs> yeah, that's what we're meant to do. She's a Khaleesi. She has to. She's a yeah, it was only like the children when but I watched the TV thing, like the weird and the like control the here. Aged. We're spies, I guess. Like, it's just falling into game. Here's the thing. Yeah. So do you guys actually, like, support... Like, it's another thing. Do you know The Guardian are a way to stop making newspapers? I don't know. Really. The Guardian's a way to stop producing their newspapers and putting it all online. Oh, it's going to be fully online. You still need to pay your, sub- a, like, a subscription, which is the same cost as buying The Guardian. Like 50p or something. Yeah, every day, and you get your paper. I'm not 100% into They're that. They're doing that. The Independent are thinking about doing it. Those are two very, very big newspapers to just be like, right, well, thing, yeah, we're moving read, digital. Because that's the thing, yeah, reading online is fine if you're just wanting to check up on I stuff. Know, but people like great. to buy their papers. But I've, read I've read The Guardian online. Like, it's amazing, like, how they've done it. I like, think, yeah. I think I've yeah. been on The it's Guardian online. I'm a big fan. I think I prefer The Times. I think The Times are thinking about doing it. And yeah. They've got an online version. But yeah. this is the thing, it's all... That's what I was going to say. Do you guys so agree with like moving towards moving digital, on. or do you think you? I think digital is kind of like it's a good idea. It's like you can keep it all in one place. It's easier to get to. Like if you've got people with mobility issues that can't get out of their house. Like, I think that is what can get to digital it. makes the world. I think it makes everything way more accessible and way like it makes more smaller. open to people. Yeah. I like the idea for newspapers because you need to get your news on the fly and like you know, maybe you can just get like. For the BBC, you can just look up the BBC's, like, what's going on in the world, you click Asia or Africa. Yeah. But the guard, yeah, that's certainly a part idea, but for me, I always need a book in my hand. I haven't made the that's, transition. Yeah, yeah, everything's like moving, people like, like a books routine. move into digital, newspapers mm-hmm. move into digital. TVs move into digital, like... All that kind of stuff, but I like, like I said, I like to have, I'd like to have it in my hand while I'm reading it. I, I wouldn't be able to read a book online. You I say that, and I thought I wouldn't, but honestly, I've, no, I've, I've tried reading with Kindles and I mean, online. I could better, not do it at all. Like, I just think it's the exact same because when I need to turn the pages, Kindle, like that. Kindle, I built to do it like that. Yeah, but I mean, like reading on. Like, but no, I just think it's stuff. the way things are going. Like, there's always going to be books. It's not. They're not just going to stop printing books. Like. Yeah. There's just something people like to have a book. But it's what they're doing in schools now as well. Exactly, that's what I'm saying. They're now using iPads and stuff in schools. Where was because that? if you think about it, you know dyslexic kids, the ones who can't read things properly. I won't say what school or anything, but I th- somebody I know who is a teacher, um, where they teach one of the girls is she needs like you know how like she'd have a learning support, support teacher, yeah. but yeah. now she doesn't. She's got an iPad, a Kindle. 
and lots of different things because lucky it, no, no it, she only has it in school she gets it supplied yeah. by the school yeah. and it's because when she's reading things she struggles you know to see it and to th- make sense of it but that helps her because it zooms it right in and it can change the background colour you know dyslexic like, people kind of yeah. need those sometimes need those yellow glasses to read white paper well now they don't because it makes the screen yellow with the right black text on it mm-hmm. and it makes it easier for them and I just think it makes things so much easier and makes things like accessible is the best word to describe mo- things digital. moving into a digital platform. Yeah, it's like even I just think every media w- outlet is going that way. Like eventually, I genuinely see films guys putting their films online at the, the same time as cinema. cinema. Yeah, well, well it will no, be yeah, in cinema, they, they, but they they'll start put it doing on, that with something else. But they'll put it online else. as well, so you can pay to watch it online as, because. That is the only way you can fight someone, pirating. Someone had mentioned something mm. about that recently. The only way you can fight pirating is to also make it available. Yeah. And the only thing with these going to digital, it makes it easier and it's greater access. But then you've got to shut down the factories making the papers, and you've got to sh- like fight like no more paper boys. And it's the same with the cinema. You, just, like, you have to close down the cinema. So but no, no, that's what I'm saying. You don't get rid of the other thing. Mm. It just oh, yeah. Well, okay. Well, rounding up. Don't uh, What? Like yes or no? What do you think? Do you think it's a good idea moving to digital? Pretty much. Yes. Yeah. So I don't think yeah. there's any point in fighting it. Yeah. Because because like happen. it's gonna happen. You no can, you can be you can be the stubborn old guy in the corner who's going I fucking love my paper, but like you're just gonna be no means. It's too it's too early for that twenty one. You know. Yeah. What about you? Yeah, yeah, I, I, I like it. I mean, yeah, like you said, it's not gonna get rid of books. It's moving to digital, but you can still get your. your and in conclusion, no fight. means nothing to digital. You can say no all you want, but it's still happening. No digital. Not like this.